Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to another predictions video and in today's video I'm going to be predicting the Anue versus Butler fight. If you are new around here and you haven't subscribed, please do so like the video if you do need like the video and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Inoue is 23-0 and with 20 KOs and Butler is 34-2 and with 15 KOs. This fight is for the WBC, WBA Super and IBF World Bantamweight belts in which Inoue holds and the WBO World Bantamweight belt in which Butler holds. In his last fight, the win by TKO in round two versus Donaire in their rematch, a very dominant victory. And Butler's last fight, the win by unanimous decision versus Sultan, which was also relatively dominant, but um, not quite as dominant as Inoue's was. Butler is 34 and Inoue is 29, so an obvious age difference there, which can play a factor, especially in these lower weight divisions. Inoue is a seemingly pound for pound number one. A lot of people have him ranked that highly. Um, I mean, I don't really have a pound for pound list, but a lot of people have him ranked very highly. And so, um, yeah, he's seemingly pound for pound number one. If not, then he's in the top five. Inoue is very powerful and fast with great reflexes. And is, I mean, his overall ability, if he's ranked pound for pound number one, then it says why he's an amazing fighter. I mean, the only thing really that he hasn't done is fought outside of his home country. Uh, but I mean, a lot of... A lot of people don't really want to do that, and so that's fair enough to him. But, um, I mean, if he did, then I'm sure he'd be a very well-known name. As I don't think loads of people really know too much about him at the moment, at least in kind of Europe and America and that kind of area. I don't think he's as well-known as he probably should be. Butler's losses have come via unanimous decision versus Rodriguez in 2018 and via TKO in round 8 versus Tete in 2015. But uh, since then, he's been on an eight-fight win streak, so uh, he's he's coming into that with good form and good momentum. Butler has impressive counterattacks, but does get hit, which is something two things realistically that which you don't really want to have going into this fight because counterattacking, yeah, it can play a good factor against certain fighters, but I think if you give somebody like Inoue too much respect, then it's just not really going to work. And so the counterattacks aren't really something that you're going to want to do because you don't really want to get hit by Inoue. And uh, so, yeah, and the fact that he does get hit anyway, that's not really playing a good factor. And so Butler's going to have to try and be more attacking. And obviously that opens him up to more opportunities, but he's just going to have to not respect Inoue and just go in there and try and attack more just to see what happens. Inoue, yet again, is fighting in his home country. This is why I'm doing this prediction today, because I believe it's on the 13th that the fight's going on. So, yeah, not a normal weekend as what the European side of things are, but the Japanese cards never really normally are in the on the weekend. So, um, it's fair enough. And uh, Inoue is the clear favourite, of course. It kind of makes sense. And I think that Inoue will win via KO in round two. I think it's going to be very easy, very dominant, and Butler... I don't really see him standing a chance, to be honest. Obviously, it's boxing, so you never know anything could really happen. Uh, but, yeah, I think Inoue's got this in the bag. And then, I mean, there's a few options in which he could go on to fight. Maloney and Casemiro are two good options in the bantamweight division. But if he wants to go up and... I mean, at this point, he'll be undisputed champion if he beats Butler. And so if he wants to go up and try and become undisputed in the super bantamweight division, then I think Aleem is a good option to go into that division. Is I don't think he's going to get put straight in against like a Fulton or somebody like that because I don't I don't think that's smart really. Um, so I think Aleem would be a good fight for him uh, going up into that division. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Like the video if you didn't, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.